this is Sarah. Um, I am coming to you for week 39 update. Um, and I'll be kind of quick with my numbers because I have a few things I want to talk about. So I started my journey on August the 20... August. Here I go again. April the 26th um, of 2012. And at that time, I weighed in at 357 or 7 pounds. Yeah. And today, when I weighed, I weighed in again at 227. So, I did not have a loss this week. Um, which I'm actually okay with. Uh, it's odd because... You know, people say, well, they don't know why they've had a loss, blah, 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 or didn't have a loss. And then, then I've seen bunches of videos where people get mad at people who say they don't know. Um, you can get mad if you want to. Guess what, guys? I don't know why I didn't have a loss. I have busted my badonka donk in the gym all week, and I have really been on my A-game as far as food is concerned. So, there's actually no reason why I should not have lost. But I'm very thankful that I at least stayed the same. So I'm not complaining one bit. I'm currently trying to fix my ring. I lost my Snuggie uh, on it, the, which tells you something that my rings are too big. So now I'm currently trying to fix it with a pipe cleaner because I've lost the rest of my Snuggies and I'm too cheap to buy more. So, um, something, so Saturday I will be nine months post-op. And I might actually weigh again on Saturday because that's what day I weighed last week. And if I've lost something, I might make another video. I don't know. I doubt it because I've already made several videos this week. But anyways, um, so some things I want to talk about were the personal training deal. Awesome. I just had my first one yesterday, and I'm super sore. Of course, I did like double classes yesterday. Um, I took my cousin Josh's class in the morning, and then uh, I went back to the gym yesterday afternoon and took this class or did the personal training, and she had seen me there for Josh's class, so she's actually kind of generous to me. She only made me do two reps of everything instead of three, but overall, it went really well, and uh, I really liked it. I really enjoyed having the one-on-one. -on -one. Now, in saying that, I laughed a whole lot, <laughs> and then I apologize for laughing so much. I can't help it. When I feel stupid or whatever, I just have a tendency to crack up. Oh, that might be too tight. Anyways, um, so that's gone well. And I, I'm going to be really sad. I got this for Christmas. And I can go ahead and tell you that I'm already going to be sad when it's over. I got five sessions. But the deal was if you, have, if you buy six, you get the last one free. So when I went and uh, signed up for my sessions... I went ahead and bought another session, which 15, I think it was just $15 for 30 minutes. So that's pretty good. And um, I bought another session. I don't know if I'm going to like that. I bought another session for uh, $15 and then, then I get an extra one free. So that's kind of awesome. And I'm super excited about that. And I think it's going to go well, which kind of hangs me into this next that's so weird. Um, this next piece that I want to talk about was that I have created a new goal for myself. Um, you know, I had already said that my next big goal was to get into Wonderland, to be under 200 pounds. So I have decided that I didn't really have a target date for that. But now, um, seeing as that my one year surge anniversary is in three months, my target date to get into Wonderland is going to be April 26, 20, 2013. So that will be, hopefully, maybe, praying, exercising, going to be really pumped up trying to get to that goal. I'm hoping to lose the next 27 pounds within the next three months. Um, and looking at my past history, I think to myself, oh, I can do that. That'll be great. Maybe I should set it higher. But realizing how much my weight loss has slowed down um, just in the last couple months, it makes me be like, well, I may not get to that goal. I think I had actually set a goal to be 230 by Christmas, and I don't think I was. I can't remember now, but I have to go back and watch my video, which is why we make these videos, uh, not only to be helpful, but to be accountable to yourself and to remember to be able to video, I mean, have a, something to go back in and look at the journey um, along the way. So that's my new goal is to be in Wonderland by um, my one-year surge anniversary. 
So it's 27 pounds away and um, it's so unreal to think about 27 pounds from now, I could possibly be under 200 pounds. I can honestly say, and I've said this a few times about other weight losses, but I, I don't ever remember being under, I've never weighed under 200 pounds that, to my knowledge. I'm sure I did at some point as a child, but you know, again, I've taught, said this a million times, you know, I weighed 240 in the eighth grade. So that tells you that even at that time, it would have been a really long time since I'd seen under 200. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that and I'm really praying and hoping that I will get there. That's my goal. Um, so that's three months away. And I'm pretty pumped up about that. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I hope that it goes well. I hope that I'm able to do this. And, uh, I, you know, I'm really, 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 really going to really try hard. After running, the, my, uh, running for 11 minutes the other day, I've really been pumped up. And yesterday when I got to the gym before my personal training, she told me to come like five minutes early and warm up. So I did, and I started running. And, you know, I didn't get very far because she, the person in front of me that she had before me ended up, like, canceling or whatever. So I ended up stopping my workout early. But, you know, I ran for, like, three or four minutes then, and it was fine. And she came over and talked to me and asked me what I was doing. I was able to run and not be extremely out of breath. Like, you know, I was running and talking, and I was a little winded, but it wasn't anything like I would have ever thought that I would have been before. I got to hurry. I'm already at six minutes. So, and the next thing I'm talking about is not that big deal. So, 2013, um, we all know the state of the economy, and um, I don't know if anybody else is feeling it, but I know that we are definitely feeling the crunch uh, as far as money and things are concerned here, or in my household anyways. Uh, it's just my husband and I, and we were both not old, but we were older when we got married. Um, sadly, though, we did not do things the smart way. And, you know, I was 28, he was 30, and we had not really had, we'd both been working, working, working for years, and we didn't really have anything to show for it. We didn't really save up any money, so that's our fault. Uh, now, look into the future and hopefully beginning to plan for a family. Um, keep my fingers crossed, maybe next year. Uh, getting pregnant and having a baby. That's my hope and prayer. But again, it's not, it's out of my hands. So, um, and I'm coming around to that. I'm getting a little better with that. Uh, I, so anyway, trying to budget for the next year. So I have been doing things like, uh, trying to write out meal plans and, um, just looking at ways we can cut things out in our budget. The sad thing is, and, um, you know, I know that a lot of people believe moderation is the key, which is true. Uh, but the sad thing is, unfortunately, and I don't care what anybody says, it is in our area anyways because we don't have super cool grocery stores. We've got one family-owned chain that if you go in and buy anything, you're going to spend $20. And then we have Super Walmart. And we're not close to anything else, so we can't really do like... I know a lot of Walmarts do uh, price matches, but we're not really in a 50 mile radius close enough to anything to do a price match on. Um, so healthier options are expensive. And I kind of wanted to get some feedback from you guys on what you do. Um, the good news is, it's like, you know, my husband's not gonna eat the Greek yogurt. So when I buy a Hugacious tub of it, it's just me eating the Greek yogurt. So it will go a long way. Although I've eaten a lot of Greek, I bought a tub Sunday night and like it's almost gone. So, uh, I kind of want to know, I'd love to know what you guys do or what you guys think about uh, how you budget your meals. And I've watched, uh, I think it was Banster for Life. She made a great video and I loved hearing the prices and stuff, but it made me super jealous. We are nowhere near a Trader Joe's. I think the closest Trader Joe's that to my knowledge uh, is like three and a half hours away. So, and they had some bargains. Uh, every time I watch Rob Reno's videos, I think he's, there may be other places he's going, but he always gets super cheap vegetables at nice and fresh and easy, maybe. I don't even, I've never even heard of those except for him, so I don't, wouldn't have a clue where one of those would be to us. But, like, he gets two bell peppers, really good size bell peppers, for 98 cents. We are no, we, bell peppers, like, I looked, there was a three-pack for, like, $4 the other day at our grocery store. So, um... Anyways, I'm about to run out of time. So basically what I'm asking is, give me your budget ideas. How do you budget? How do you plan your meals to get the best, the bang for your buck? Have a good day, guys. Bye.